Boogie. Let's go. Next level, son. Let's do it. I'm doing it. Come on. Go for the goal. Short ass move. Was a gyration. Yeah, booty shake. For Metros, the opening really sets up the relationships between these roommates living in this in NYC. You can clearly see self-care is very important to them. Um, it sets up the relationships between their families. It sets up the type of humor we're going to be in. Really strong o- opening. And it's just, to me, feels like these are men who lean into their feminine, um, their metrosexuality. But then I sometimes see it since a, a bit of flirtiness among them. So I found myself kind of thinking like, are they together? Are they not together? Um, and kind of like that being the thought on my mind. And I think that that was maybe the point. Um, like when he's at the restaurant, the Indian restaurant, everyone's assuming he's into men. Um, the Indian restaurant guy is very upset about that. Then you have, you know, the other cute little other guy that comes to take the order. And it's kind of being perceived as we're flirting. You know, maybe, you know, we might be interested in, in one another. But then you kind of get a sense that, well, maybe not. And I'm like, is the comedy that they're metrosexual, but they're often being seen as being into guys, but they really aren't into guys at all. And then I started to notice the subtle puns meant to play as these really subtle sexual innuendos that are throughout the whole thing. And it kind of plays that until we get this confession and realization that maybe he may be gay. And then I'm like, okay, so this wraps it all up here. So it was very smart comedy, um, which I appreciate it. All right, so this is a fun piece. Um, you know, I like that they had a, a good solid premise put together. They got some good performers. The The three leads were funny. Um, everybody that was on screen did a really good job. And uh, yeah, you know, it's just a, a piece. This piece is obviously conceived with a lot of, of care and um, that shows, you know, nice, nicely written, nicely directed, nicely acted. Um, yeah, so, you know, great job all around on this. And uh yeah, I'd be um, curious to see if there are, are more episodes of this uh, that are going to be uh, made available. So, But great work on this. Um, yeah, I hope it goes well for you. I hope it gets seen. Metro's was a really fun piece. I think you have a really funny premise going on, and I think the three main leads did a great job of bringing that to the screen. I think there were some really nice moments in here that really... Um, not carried the piece but they definitely acted as little highlights throughout i think uh i want to commend the writing for that i want to commend the leads for you know doing such a great job um with pacing and timing and figuring each other's dynamics out um yeah it was shot really really well the pacing was great comedic timing was great um and all together was a really really fun silly piece um very well done this was great. An absolute quality production through and through. Fantastic performances for starters. Really, everyone carries their weight here really well. Uh, Everyone's got their own charm. They've got their own quirks. Fantastic deliveries. Uh, everything from you know verbal deliveries to even just facial expressions. They all work here. Great timing. Uh, and I'm sure that's n- no small part due to editing and direction as well the sets a lot of the the set uh dressings were just fantastic a lot of attention to detail here just a lot of color really really vivid uh picture quality to this one um yeah everything was just done to such a high level i would absolutely expect this to uh, be picked up in some sort of uh series on um, any of the platforms really i think would be lucky to have it it's really well done so Great work. Metros. This was really fun. I mean, it. you had some great sets, some great cinematography. All of your three leads had a really good rapport with each other. I believed all of them. Um, several parts were really funny. I really enjoyed them. The dance that they kind of broke out into at the beginning um, I really would have loved to have seen them gone full out. I guess there was a part in my mind where I was hoping for a flash mob, uh, but I thought that everybody was really talented. The choreography was really good and I enjoyed it. 
This was a great opener to a comedy series. I got a sense of New Girl meets Broad City uh, with a dash of workaholics. Uh, I could see this be a regular series on Comedy Central. Uh, for a moment, I sort of got lost in the element of the story of itself, uh, as if I was watching a pilot episode of a new series. The locations, production design, wardrobe, all, fall, all of these things uh, flow really well together. Um, my favorite bit is the encounter with the dealer. Uh, he's quite a character. Uh, these stories are fresh, uh, funny, I like uh, that we get to see one of the characters kind of go through this sexual discovery as uh, he gets hit on uh, by the cashier. And rather than being rejected of this idea, he actually embraces it. And uh, we end this episode uh, of him revealing that he thinks he's gay to his comrades. Uh, this is a friendship story filled with mistakes and debauchery uh, nonetheless. All right, I just finished watching um, Metros, which I thought was um, a really fun and sort of um, a grounded um, comedy con uh, conceit that I generally do enjoy a lot. Uh, it's based around New York City, which is um, an area which I'm from. So I, I really um, enjoy this sort of um, uh, stylistic approach to these characters. Everyone has a big personality. Um, everyone is sort of um, weird and quirky and creative in a way that makes them interesting. And I thought that the dynamic between the leads was very relatable. The opening scene obviously was, um, was had a great sense of humor in a lot of ways, both in um, physical comedy and in um, delivery of lines. And I thought that the piece as it gone on really had um, a strong sense of itself and what it would like to be. And I, I could see how it could be a blueprint for um, a bigger idea. And I, I definitely did um, enjoy um, the lead characters in terms of uh, how they were able to display a, a level of range in their performances that made it seem like they were um, three-dimensional characters and allowed them to sort of bring some depth um, to a conceit that had a lot of um, zany humor and um, wild setup. So I um, enjoyed the piece. I thought it was um, well done. It had a great mix of music as well that really helped contribute to the personality of the overall piece. And I thought that um, it really did make sense as a sort of uh, pilot, um, which a long extended trailer for a bigger show, which I imagine is the intent of the creators. So it was uh, well done, in my opinion.